Hey, there you are. I was just thinking about you. I just wanted to give you a little update. I wanted to show you how this uh, new bird bath works. It's kind of slick. It's held in place by only two screws. I just used some big long wood screw. There's one there and then there's one down here. Just to hold the bracket. And I took all the, uh, the screws out of the, this. I cut this part off. It's kind of a rectangular angle iron piece. And I took all the screws out of here. So now it all rotates freely. Like this. And also like this. So I kind of like that. In case you want to wash it out or something. And then so then it's like that and you just it comes right back up here. Like that. And it just sits right there like that. And rinse it out and I kinda like that. Well, we got, a, we got a little more paper towel apocalypse here. How did that happen, Beaches? You know what? Can you tell me? Looks like somebody's been chewing on the, the paper towels here. I'm not sure. I might have to consult a forensic expert, but I would swear those... That looks like parrot marks to me. What do you think? Have you been chewing on the paper towels again? I don't know. I'm just saying. Looks kind of suspicious. <laughs> All right. I gotta roll these paper towels back up. Right? That's not actually how they're supposed to look. Well, I got them all rolled back up. That was a lot of paper towels, I'll tell you what. Peaches is in the hooskow now. Right, Peach? That's what happens to the bad birds that play in the paper towels. They gotta go in the hooskow. Well, I wanted to... Show you my little garden patch I got going here. Got some parsley. Always like to put that in my salad. That's kind of nice. I got a little pineapple. I don't know if it's doing anything or not. Oh yeah, I've got some flowers coming up. I forget what, some kind of lily or something. I just planted this Coreopsis I got from my mom's house. I got some iris. I just transplanted these last fall, so I'm not sure if they'll bloom or not. And then I got the nice columbine. I got some squash or pumpkin here. That's, it might be the blue hubbard, or it could be the Cinderella pumpkin. Got some lettuce started here. <laughs> I'll show you this plant here. This is called a beautiful cinquain. A cinque means five. So this has got five leads. It, it kind of looks like a pot plant, but it's not. It's a, it puts out these little yellow flowers. You can't quite see them yet. It's just getting ready to flower. That's kind of a nice one. It's a natural uh, native to this area. What else do I got? Let's see what we got here. Got a bunch of lettuce. I transplanted a bunch of it. Not all of it did very well. But I think what's left now is is gonna do all right. I got. I might, that's probably a cucumber. I think. 
cucumbers. Going here. Nice bachelor button. I transplanted from the front yard. Well, here's my asters I was looking for. They haven't come up yet. A little cilantro going. This is all from the my old garden. I out front. I I dug it up and tried to transplant it here. I got the, I made this planter last week. I was talking to Bill at uh, Pine Valley Digital, and uh, he was telling me about he's making some planter boxes, and he showed me pictures. So I thought, oh, I ought to try that. So the neighbor had some old two by twelves. They're really nasty looking, and I cut them in half and use some four by four posts. <laughs> They didn't go together real well because the boards are so warped, but I gotta work for this planter box. I got a lot of radishes. I, I started these in another pot and I transplanted them. A lot of watermelon. I just planted some more too. Oh, well, there's that. I tried to transplant some uh, strawberry plants, but they just <laughs> they didn't seem to transplant very well. I'm kind of disappointed in that. If I can just get one going, I'll I'll be all right. And then I I got this old now you can't see it very well old-fashioned rose bush from my mom's house. It didn't transplant very well either. So, here's some more Coreopsis. It didn't transplant real well, but I think it's gonna make it. It's all looking pretty good. I got a lot of marigolds started here, and some zinnias. Looking pretty good. Well, let's go check out my building project around front. I've been getting a little tired of digging, I must admit. Well, I put this board on there, and the dirt has to come up to the bottom edge of that board. That board is sitting four inches below the top of my form board. So that'll give me a four inch slab. I got most of the dirt in there. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm tired of digging. But uh, I think I'm gonna go around the inside edge and put up a temporary form board so I can get all that sand packed in there real nice. So that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm working, working on it. <laughs> I seem to find a lot of things to <laughs> keep me distracted from digging. Imagine that. Oh well. Nice new peaches, bird baths, slash feeder. I haven't seen any birds in there yet, but we just, I just put it out there yesterday. Uh, put a little bird seed out today to try to entice them. Well, friends, that's all I have for now. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Take care. I'll see you down the trail.